Welcome to the advanced lesson on heating control. In this part, we will focus on setting up electric heating systems in the Homematic IP app, as well as configuring underfloor heating solutions. We start with the configuration of a classic electric heating system. Two products are required for this. On the one hand, we need a wall thermostat in the respective room, as well as a switching actuator. This can be a pluggable switch, but it can also be a flush-mounted actuator or a DN rail device that is used to control the electric heating. For demonstration, I have brought a small indicator light here. We will first teach in both devices in the Homematic IP app. For this, we simply click on More in the app, select Add Device and insert the batteries. If the battery has already been inserted, a brief tap on the blue system button is sufficient to activate the device. After the device is displayed in the app, we enter the last four digits of the device number. And confirm it by clicking continue. The device can now be assigned to a specific room. We can create a new room via the plus sign, such as bathroom, for example, and can also determine a name for the wall thermostat. The device is now fully set up. By clicking Done, we complete the pairing process and can now analyze the parameters of the bathroom via the home screen. We have the target temperature, the actual temperature and the humidity as well that is indicated for the room. The second step is now setting up a switching actuator that is used to control the electric heating. For this purpose, we use a pluggable switch meter in this case. Click on More, select Add Device and supply the device with power. The device appears after a short time in the device search and can then be set up by entering the serial number. When it comes to electric heating systems, it's vitally crucial that the pluggable switch or the switching actuator and the wall thermostat are located in the same room. That's why we select the bathroom as well and just enter a different name for the pluggable switch and meter such as electric heating and confirm this by clicking continue. In the last step, we are asked to select a solution for our pluggable switch, our chosen switching actuator. Here we select the climate control option. That means it is used to switch electric heaters or dehumidifiers in combination with a wall thermostat. And with that, the solution is fully set up. I am placing a small indicator light right here in my pluggable switch and set the target temperature a bit higher than usual. Currently, we have a set target temperature of 17 degrees and an actual temperature of 20.1 degrees. According to the app, we can confirm this again here. The pluggable switch is currently off. I will now increase the temperature in the room to, for example, to 22 degrees, and immediately my pluggable switch turns on accordingly and the electric heater is provided with power. Now that we have implemented an electric heating solution, we will focus on the underfloor heating solution in the second part. For the underfloor heating solution, we work with a motorized underfloor heating controller that can address up to 12 different heating circuit. For the setup, we also need to have a wall thermostat installed in each room, as well as a corresponding output from our underfloor heating controller for each heating cycle. We start with the setup of a wall thermostat. Here again, 
I press the system button on the device, enter the device number and confirm it. We can create a new room, the kitchen for example. and continue. The name of the device will then be the wall thermostat kitchen. And just like that, this device is also fully set up. On the home screen, we can swipe between the various rooms, allowing us to see the temperature in the kitchen as well as to evaluate the humidity level. In the next step, the underfloor heating controller is set up. For this purpose, I connect the corresponding valve drives to the outputs of the controller. For each heating circuit, a separate valve drive is needed. For instance, I'm choosing the first output here. For my valve drive, which is responsible for controlling the heating circuit in the kitchen. Similarly, we need to connect the power supply. For this purpose, there is a corresponding connection facility on the bottom side. And then, this device can also be set up in the Homematic IP app with selecting Add Device. After the device is displayed in the app, we are asked to enter and confirm the device number of this underfloor heating controller again. Also, this controller is assigned to a room, which could be, for example, the Technic room where our heating manifold is located as well. The name is 12-channel underfloor heating actuator, and now the configuration process of the individual outputs begins. For this, we click on Continue and determine, for example, that the first output, heating circuit 1, is assigned to the kitchen. If we continue, we can then also choose an appropriate name, for example, heating circuit kitchen, and confirm it by clicking continue. With done, we complete the assignment. Additional outputs, if they have been connected, can also be assigned here. Simply select the corresponding output and assign it to a room. After completing your assignment, click on Continue to end the configuration. Now, our wall thermostat in the kitchen autonomously controls output 1 of our underfloor heating controller with a direct connection without an access point in between or the necessity for an internet connection.